Good day everyone, before I finish my crafting project, uh, where I am making myself a new chest, new gloves, and two new rings, and then I'm going to replace my helmet with a fiend crown, um, I just wanted to do a test on my current gear in Path of the Brave. I know I can't clear it, um, I just want to record a video so I have a reference to see if the new pieces of gear help me in Path the Brave. Uh, here's a little sneak peek of uh, two cra rings that I only just finished crafting a couple of minutes ago. Um, so quite nice. This one took me a bit to finish off. I think it was 120 flame elementium to get this in this spot. However, this one, I hit that the first restless. Very, very lucky. So all up, that ring probably cost about 20 flame elementium for the base. They're much cheaper now, I think. 20 flame elementium for this, and about 10 flame elementium for the rest. So you can craft one of these if you are insanely lucky on the last step for around about 50 flame elementium. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Uh, I wanted to showcase Path the Brave. I'll speed up the um, in between, unless the video doesn't take that long. Um, so, yeah. See how we go. Uh, what am I dodging for? I don't know. I was doing threes before, and you actually have to dodge. Do I have to dodge? No. Cool. So, one, you just stand here tank everything because you're an overpowered charge moto or at least I am so one's a joke two you can die if you just stand there uh, threes I've heard are pretty hard for melee characters fours are hard they hit really hard um You'll see. Ah, <laughs> reflex. I keep dodging. I shouldn't dodge. Hold on to your one. Oh, proof the brave one, rather. So my budget, 50, 60, 70, whatever it was. Flame Elementium build could do Path of Brave 1 and 2. Wasn't pretty, but it was possible. Uh, now to delete this boss. One FE, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Most of the money that you'll make from Proof of the Brave comes from purely upgrading the keys. So if you watch my um, trade um, video, you'll be able to see how to get about 12... Uh, Proof the Brave 1 keys for 1 Flame Elementium, which is pretty crazy. Um, it requires a, a couple of flips to get there, um, however, it's very cheap. Then you can just sell the um, 12 Proof the Braves if you want for 25-ish Flame Elementium, because they sell for about 2 each. Or you can upgrade the ones to twos. Two's worth about three. Uh, then you can do the. Is it going to kill me? Yeah, it was going to kill me. <coughs> the degen they put on the on the ground is quite insane. Um, so that's why I'm putting on life regen and max life on every single piece that I'm crafting, um, so that hopefully I can just stand in those pools of fire and not to die. Uh, anyway, so Proof the Brave 1s, uh, 12 to 1 FE, if you do the trick that I said. Uh, otherwise, they're about 2.5 flame elementium each. 2s uh, are about 3 flame elementium, I think. 3s are about... Ooh, there you go. Stood, stood there too long, talking shit. <coughs> 
threes are about three and a half. Fours are three. Um, fives are about two because they don't, they can't get upgraded into a six. Um, so you just run them, and whatever drops drops. If you don't get anything, you get nothing. Or if, like, when I run a five, I just get dead. So that's path of rave two. Death to stupidity. Uh, it's pretty standard in my videos. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a bit of a cold, so... What did I just buy? Oh, that's gone through already. I might cancel the other one real quick. This one. Gonna get a bunch from Path of the Brave, so... Um... I'll just cancel that. And on to three. This one is a little bit harder for melee characters. Um, just because the boss is a little bit stupid. Um, it's not too bad for my character. I can generally one-shot the boss. Why well, not one-shot? Kill it without a death. Um, one thing that you really have to look out for in Path of the Brave is do not die after the boss dies because if you die after the boss dies and you have not looted the ground you lose everything because when you respawn it respawns you in town and you lose whatever you haven't picked up this was especially bad for me because I was doing um, videos where I did 100 um, Path of the Brave at a time and I was leaving all the loot on the ground and then taking a couple of second snippet at the end of every um, run to show all the loot uh, that still showed up on the loot filter. Um, and I died to this boss once and it felt bad because I had a couple of flame elementium on the floor that I could not pick up. Felt bad, man. <coughs> It's actually quite late, so I apologise. I probably won't have time to edit this video um, before the missus wants me to go watch TV. We're watching... Hmm, what's it called? English Woman or something on Amazon at the moment. It's quite good. A bit of... Wild West action. So this is the boss. The easiest way to do this is if you can summon minions to summon them on an angle. So that orb that comes out, if you're say you're standing here and you're summoning monsters directly in line to the boss, he's going to shoot that ball and it's going to go through you and one shot you. Um, it does so much damage, and when he does the spam ability, say standing here, you just run down here, and that's pretty much out of the range. Obviously, melee can't damage him while he's doing that, but uh, any range character, that boss is a bit of a joke. Alright, now shit is about to get real. So, that was Proof of the Brave 1, 2, and 3. Now we can do four, hopefully. I was actually going to test something with auras. I'm using a selfless aura, so I don't benefit at all from auras. Uh, I'm also using isomorphic arms, so I'm not entirely sure if um, me not benefiting from the auras is detracting from my main weapon stats. It seems like a bit of a far-fetched thing that it would, so I'm not that concerned. Um, but I'll test that later. And if I'm wrong, then ugh, Jesus, I've been playing for weeks on a nerfed character. If that's true, it's probably not true. It just seems a bit silly. Because isomorphic arms, if you don't know, 
Um, it applies your main hand weapon to your minions. Uh, I've noticed a lot of other minion builds are not using isomorphic arms. And Mighty Guard this league, which is a little bit interesting. Um, I use it in my build because that's what I used last league on my um, on my Automoto, and it was quite strong. I'll just pick up that just because I don't know what it is, and I should have moved, but I'm an idiot. Uh, so things hit really hard in four and extremely hard in five. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still hitting for 500 million, but it just does not seem like you do any damage. Enemies in this game start to have an obscene amount of health. So just dodge away from the damage. This, oh, that was a bad dodge. Anyway, I think I got away with it. Dodge all the damage, don't need any silly deaths at this stage. Unlucky we got bosses again. That blue stuff that this boss drops does so much damage, it's insane. Uh, where am I dodging up here? Okay. Oh. Alright, boss time. <coughs> I'll pick up this again. Don't know what it is. It's probably not worth anything. Most, uh, most stuff at this stage in the league isn't worth much at all. And I'm not using the um, higher damage weapon at the moment because in my brain, um, partly because I crafted it, and then another partly because I want to believe that skill radius on the weapon applies to minions. So if you didn't notice there, um, ooh, ooh. sorry, talking, uh, touch the lasers. <coughs> I don't know where they are. Anyway, so the enemies all spawned in a line. You just pick the vacant spot. So there, they're all going to shoot in a line. You just stay in the corner. Can't hit you. And that's the Proof the Brave 4 done. I didn't get anything drop. I'm also... Um, it doesn't really affect this at all. I've also put a skill radius. Uh, I'll, st I'll put steamroll on an, or uh, an aura because I'm like, oh, it's more radius. Maybe it'll... Um, give a buff or something, I don't know. Anyway, Proof of Brave 5, time to die. I've never successfully got to the boss in Proof of the Brave 5. I always fall short. So this will be interesting. You must need an absolute shit ton of damage to be able to do fives. Um, I guess my hero memories and stuff aren't super fantastic. They're like, I think they're about 30 or 40 flame elementium each when I bought them. So they could be a lot better. Um, I did a bit of a, bit of a gamble earlier because I sold a, uh, in a previous video, I corrupted some warden, that was just stupid. Some Warden's Breast Pins, and I got a double corruption that was extra minion damage and... Oh, that is so much damage. <clears throat> extra minion damage and minions cannot deal physical damage, which is insane for the uh, Automoto uh, Spiders build. Uh, and that sold for 350 Flame Elementium, so I bought three more Warden's Breast Pins and corrupted them. Didn't get anything good, but instead of doing that I should have improved my character. But um, it happened once, so I figured it might happen twice. <laughs> uh, 
Um, anyway, we're doing reasonably well this time. Um, but we've still got a couple of waves to go, so I'm not going to hold my breath and pretend that I'm going to pass this. I'll be very surprised if I do. <clears throat> oh, see. What? I got hit for four and a half thousand. That is through a barrier. And barriers absorb something like 20% of damage. Plus I have a lot of other core mitigations. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm on my damage packs. I hope so. Let's just... Yep, all on a damage. Um, oh, that's just minion attack and car speed, which does nothing anyway. <coughs> I don't think it does anything. Probably does more than drop quantity in a uh, encounter that drop quantity doesn't work. Yeah, but the enemies just have so much. Like, they've all got billions of health. Billions and billions of health. And it's such a small arena that they just keep gang... I was about to say a word that I can't say. Uh, ganging up on you, it's just... You can't dodge. I think I've got, like, one life left. So I'm not going to get to the boss again. Um, I've never been to the level... 45 boss before. Um, I don't really do Path of Brave. <coughs> Five for that reason. If I ever got a, uh, a drop that was really good, then I'd probably do it more often, but it's getting boss after boss after boss. It's just kind of boring. Especially when they've got this much life. Like, hitting for 500 million and they're life is going down by a millimetre. How is that exciting? Ah, is that it? Yep. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Um, I'll compare this to another video once I have finished crafting my chest and my gloves and replaced my helmet. Um, yeah, that's Path of the Brave with my current build which does this much damage. It's not a convincing no 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 yet. Um however I'm chunking. Chunking. Seven fifty. I've never hit for a billion and I've seen Zen hit for two billion, so um build and gear is a lot better than mine. Alright, thanks for watching. Cheers.